So everybody, welcome back to more of The Wolf Among Us. Quickly before we jump in, everybody, thank you so, so much. The support on the first episode has been absolutely wild. Look, I know you were laughing. You're like, Mark, you don't know all your fables. I don't. Look, you know this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably we're just going to be learning as we go, but like I said, the support on the first episode, the watch time has been absolutely insane. Guys, thank you so, so much. So let's just hop back into where we left off yesterday. And the color scheme for this game is fantastic. I'm probably going to say that a lot, but it, like it's one of the things that really stands out. It's got that more... Like, The Walking Dead had a wee bit more sort of like it was a wee bit grim and a wee bit sort of dark because perhaps they end up zombie apocalypse. But this is really colourful and like... Dude, can you hold on? I'm trying to talk to the people. Who's it gonna be? Big B! Snow? Come with me. No way. Where's the dwarves? Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. What's going on? Why is she being like so secretive right now? Uh, a someone. Isn't that his jacket? Or has someone shape shifted? This girl? Oh, was that the girl from the start? She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. What's in her mouth? I was gonna say. The woodsman. He attacked her, and I stepped in. Then he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It does make sense that it's the woodsman, aka Kratos. He was fighting with her has an axe it looks like a pretty clean cut but someone could could yeah she was placed here with some care. trouble what do you mean you can see that someone didn't just toss her here she was deliberately placed for us to find what kind of monster would do this i know there's something in her mouth but i kind of want to look at the rest strange cut what did this to her what could do something like that Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What about something magically sharp? What is... Uh, 
Oh, he just went straight in there. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither that, do I. That was the ring she was wearing, wasn't it? Because that was the one I was trying to figure out what the symbol was. Sorry, this is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? I want to, I want to see what that blood leads to. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Was the blood? I think it was up this way, wasn't it? Yeah. into a dark and mysterious alley. What could go wrong? <laughs> blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Didn't wasn't the woodsman wearing jeans? Like I said, everything would kind of make sense to lead to him, but I feel like he's being like set up. Just some loose trash. Oh, someone got caught a little bit. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. They didn't use that to cut her head off, right? There ain't no way. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, just making sure we didn't see any. This is good because it's kind of like you get the whole fable story, it's cool, I love the colors, and then we're like a detective. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. It was a left message? on his foot. I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Well, me at their I'm mark. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but... It's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Is there anything else for us to have a wee look around? Like, the other side of the building, maybe? Yeah, probably it was done on purpose, like it was left on our steps, know what I mean? Well, Shirt. Blind. Well, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? 
Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. <laughs> so what the fuck's his problem? Oh, look at this office, though. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. You hit him already? Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Massage? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. We're kind of distracted by a... Do your job, Sheriff. A hand. We'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. I don't like him already. I want to punch him in the face. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Crane doesn't like people smoking and That's more Never reason mind. to do it. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh, there's the wine. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Like him. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm doing good, baby. I'm doing good. Fuck off. <laughs> Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. I love that this game gives you the option, like I could just tell him to fuck off. About. For no There's reason. bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Where you could be super nice. You'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror, mirror. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello. Mirror, mirror on Hi. the wall. This is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Oh, is that like lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed? The lands lamp? Rub it, rub it. See what happens. Maybe we can give us the lottery numbers. Oh yeah. Worth a try. I don't think it worked. <laughs> Look, it was worth a shot, you know what I mean? Hey, magic mirror. 
I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Oh, now you're talking? I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Oh, let's find out about the woodsman, though. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Yeah, where did Buffkin disappear show to? Show me Buffkin. Hey! <laughs> put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Doesn't look like he's looking. Show me Snow White. Not Snow White's kind of fine request. as hell. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or right, so someone new. We need to find out what her name is first and then we can come back to that. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. That was not a good landing. Right. So we need to go and try and find out what her name is, because then privacy we can come back to this. Is there anything else I can interact with? Have we already rubbed that? Can we go back out? I'm guessing we're on like a linear path type thing. Yeah, I still want to figure out what that ring's about too. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. See if we're not known. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Pick up another one. Uh, but we, we have to see what the third one is now, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. me Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Maybe shouldn't have looked at that one? Why did he take that one? Dude, this office is absolutely massive. Why is there a guy just hanging? What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Buffkin, translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the okay. good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. I didn't know that was the one that we could click on. Oh, we can go to the next page right, okay. Oh, there's the ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. 
poetic? Vafkin, we don't need the commentary. I do. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh. She's Donkey Walls Donkey Skin. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Uh, it's your first choice back. We have to know. Yeah. No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Can we go back to the mirror now? Ooh, that was a menacing look. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Colin and his brothers. <laughs> Big Colin. Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I think her name was Red. Little Red Riding Hood? He didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. Kratos. And there's me. Not a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. There's the dwarves? Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Not a fan of dwarves? Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. Was that her, like, messing with her father? Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. I think we had one more down here. Oh, two more. I haven't Toad. seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Oh, look at his wee top hat. Nice hat. But I was thinking. Is there anything else? I think that's everything. Wait, can we go and talk to the mirror again? Now that we know her name. Oh, we can ask about the card as well. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Or as clear as a mirror? Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Is it because she's dead? It technically can't see where she is because she doesn't exist? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Uh, I think he's dead, boys. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Uh. 
What's he been doing? Uh, getting stopped. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. This game's so good. I'm really enjoying this. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Who knows I'm here? Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was um, that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Oh, do we get to the side? Whenever you're ready. I don't think Toad can wait. He sounds like he's in a bit of trouble. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you fucking want to on YouTube. Have yourselves a fantastic day.